Well, Pixie and I have finally arrived in Norton and we're out for a meander along towards the Macker beneath Cape of Bad. Um, the view to the hills of North Harris is fabulous. <laughs> And it's just such a beautiful, deepening silence. And you can hear with more detail the, all the background ambience and noise that we have daily in the big city. The little uh, pop and cottages really beautiful and really sweet and there's um, a lovely uh, kind of wooden seat in front of the, the house which is built into the, the whole structure and it's all got natural woods and bits of driftwood that's been found so it's a fabulously tranquil place Little Pixie did really well coming over in the ferry She's had a good sleep this evening. Um, we've got an exciting five days in front of us. You really are, don't really want to say too much because it just spoils the moment almost. But um, Cape of Val, I can say, an easier route up, which uh, Sitsuke, uh, Suzanne's daughter, had um, confirmed earlier on today. So if there is a Anyway, I'm going to get a pixie up there. It will be in slow stages. Um, rather than head on assault, we'll make over way over to the right and then just slowly go up the uh, easier angled ridge to the summit. Anyway, that will be the plan should it happen. Um, much will be up to the auspicious wisdom pixie. Um, just wanted to try and get her to go in front. Where's she? On you, pixie. Come on. Walk in front. No, she won't do it. Um, so the Mac here, you can see lots of little flowers beginning to emerge. Um, I imagine it's going to be a few weeks before it will be blooming in anything like the magnificence. Just looking across the Harris Hills, the North Harris Hills here, it just looks absolutely incredible. I don't know. So we can see how much the GoPro is saying. I mean, and the zoom thing is a pain in the ass with this, to be honest. I have to say, you could have come up with something better than that because half the time it doesn't it doesn't obey you.
especie. Pixie. Pixie. Oh, you're not a good girl. Eh? Just ignoring me. Come on, Pixie. Pixie girl. Pixie girl, does she want to come for a walkie? Yeah, we're gonna go and see the sunset. Have a nice walkie, that we lovely girl. Oh, look at her big eyelashes. Hey. Come on then, let's go back. Well, as you probably could hear there, um, Pixie was beginning to whine, which is our impatience. You know, she does this wee whiny song just to get her own way. Um, well, we've come along, this is the beach at Norton. There's another couple further on and there's a, a, the ruins of an old temple um, which might be what we visit if we don't uh, get to the summit of Cape of Val, which of course is going to be down to the auspicious wisdom pixie if she's coming along yeah and as usual and this is a, a lovely little beach Any, many beaches.
go bagging are sadly behind me. <laughs> um, so that, that's just a, so I turned 50 to the NHS uh, for me. Oh, do you know you've got a genetic heart condition? <laughs> oh, this is wonderful news. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I'm apparently at low to moderate risk from having a, a total cardiac arrest. And well, we must be the same then. I guess I've got a low risk as well. And that's the pop and tiny cottage that we're staying in. The mountains have disappeared entirely from view. That's what we're walking over in the moment is early sand dunes or things. Looks like an old plough of some kind. It's rusted up. Um, not time. And here she comes. My beautiful girl again. Yeah. We're just gonna go a wee bit for her pick it. Just magnificent. Surveying a vast desert of sand. Um, the dunes that are way off in the distance there. Um, the other side of that is Scarista, where we had a big walk in beautiful weather the other day. Um, the guy whose tractor we saw working his wheels, he seemed to. There we can see his tractor map, but he came across all of us.
Pixie and I are heading up towards Kirkoval. Um It's an okay day, it's quite dry but quite windy which I think will act as a deterrence for Pixie and the last few days have proved that she's a much more of a beach babe than a mountain lion um, so not wanting to prejudge things too much I think we might well end up visiting a few of the beaches along the western coast I think it is okay well we'll see um, you could never tell what Miss Pixie there's someone coming along so she's spotting them hey Pixie yeah that means it's going to be a lot windier up on top and I know that uh, we can make a lot of effort and um, Pixie could just easily decide uh, no I don't like this um, if it start raining of course that would be uh, that would be alright I my Gore-Tex jacket and everything but um, I don't have uh, any weatherproofing for Miss Pixie um, I think we'll be okay I don't think it's going to rain um, I hope not to be too wrong she's lost it or something at the moment just coming over the top of that Looking over to where we were last night, um, I can see the tides in at the moment. Um, so that definitely was the place the little print I bought came from. Um, along the huge big dunes here um, structures that uh, separate Kehoval from becoming an island in its own right some considerable distance to go and uh, not thinking Pixie's uh, too keen How are you Pixie? I think this is uh, the last of the beaches that would be attributed to being at Norton uh, in the distance on the promontory there you can see what's an old temple from the church it's known as a ruler and temple or something like that um, but again, as you see, West Harris is just totally spoiled for beaches. We've had some absolutely wonderful walks. And, you know, sometimes getting to the top doesn't really matter, you know. Guessing these are some kind of wild orchid. It's kind of way in a promontory out here. Yeah. 
Oh, the pixie girl. You're loving the sheep shit. You enjoying that? Oh, big sneeze. Don't get yourself all covered in that now. At least you're not eating a lot of tashi. Well, we decided to abort on Kepaval and we got up just to where that band of rock that you can see just above onto the ridge there and we'd already done about 15,000 steps because um, we'd been around to visit the old temple 15th century on the other side um, um, and to look at the beaches there um, and uh, I think it's enough for Pixie. I don't really think uh, it would be fair to put her in a lot more. But the interesting thing you see from here is just uh, how easily all of this environment could change. Sitting at Lava I think it's called, I'm not entirely sure. Um, came here to visit the Kalakan, which is the local co op, and get some food. Um, we just come down to the waterfront here, which is rather beautiful. Um, you can get the boats here over to Benmarie and to North Hughes. This is us making our third visit to Luston Tyre. Last week we had an absolutely gorgeous day. The sun was shining, it was absolutely beautiful. And then this morning, I was playing about with the GoPro and um, I managed to delete five days of footage that I had been shooting. Um, to say I was just shooting. Tibetan bathing festival. There's a star, which is uh, called Rishi, which is uh, visible at the moment. And the Tibetans, they believe that uh, Rishi is very auspicious to bathe in waters at this time because um, they become wish fulfilling nectar. It is said that the sands of Lufskantyre were once made of grains of gold. But a greedy man filled his boat with this very gold and then sold it at the market on the mainland. The fairies cannot abide such greed and they caused a great storm to rise which destroyed many boats. They also turned the golden beach back to sand. But once a year at sunset they change it back again. As a reminder.
day trying to reshoot all the footage that I inadvertently deleted this morning. A um, couple of key locations didn't manage to get to. Um, but we did get to Luskin Tire again. Not quite as wonderful conditions as we had the first time, but um, at least we got there. Oh 